Welcome back to Law Country, one of the most realistic Roblox roleplay games, and we have a lot to cover in their major March update. We'll start off with the Police Department revamp, because before this update, the SLPD spawned and operated out of a parking lot in the middle of a construction site, so now they finally got a home. The ground floor is relatively open plan, with cubicles for paperwork and a variety of meeting rooms and offices to the sides. Heading downstairs, we have an unusually open locker room with no door, which kind of surprised me. Down the corridor, you can find the records and evidence storage, something I've never seen in any other Roblox police station. And at the end, you can turn right to access the holding cells and interrogation rooms, or take a left where you're greeted by the booking office, as well as the underground vehicle garage. Overall, a nicely detailed interior to the station, as well as lots of parking around the building. Whilst we're on the topic of the police department, they've added 16 new and revamped law enforcement vehicles to choose from, ranging from commuter vans to Corvettes, all compatible with the new vehicle customization system, where you can choose everything on your patrol unit, from light bars to rear pillars, something I know many people have been wanting to see for a while. The all new AI police helicopter can be spawned in via your MDT, and from there you can select if you'd like to pursue a fleeing criminal or patrol, and the helicopter takes off and lands at the heliport located beside the station. Officers have the ability to view three different types of onboard cameras, normal, tracking and infrared, perfect for nighttime operations. And last addition to law enforcement that we'll be covering in this video are the addition of lookups in the CAD and radio. You're now able to search up vehicle and citizen information, which will bring back any prior records and information for traffic stops. Introducing the bank robbery. In order to complete this heist, you'll first need to collect an explosive device from this shady dealer. Then head down to the new gun store and pick up a weapon. Upon entering the bank, you'll need to shoot open the glass doors, which will activate the alarm. Head downstairs, avoiding the lasers, and place the C4. Once the door's blown open, you can head inside and collect the cash before making your daring escape. Lasers can be hard to avoid, so make sure to plan your escape route beforehand. Welcome to White Pond Plaza, an entirely new shopping district to the east of the city, including a brand new gas station called Bell Co, with substantial detail inside. Other stores include a Bet Buys, Lamb Sporting Goods, LC Burgers, St. Tac Gun Store, and a Chicken Pop. I bet this is quite a busy place in the afternoons. Taking a look at the street signs, it does also look like we can expect both a hospital and an airport to be added in the near future, though take that with a pinch of salt. A couple of smaller changes, yet ones I thought worth mentioning. Certain city buildings now have these photo interiors, and from the looks of it, the developers are testing these out with a few builds before they decide whether or not to roll them out at all. Let me know what you think about these. You're now able to customize your identification card in the DMV, as well as updating vehicle registration and information. All great features that will now help with role plays. And as I showed before with the bank robbery, there is now breakable glass in certain buildings. Now, if you thought that was everything in the update, it really isn't. I haven't included the 17 new civilian vehicles, custom sirens and uniforms for private servers, weapon skins, new private server commands, as well as a Sonoran CAD integration, all which I want to go into detail in a different video. A couple of bugs such as an outdated minimap should be fixed by the time this video is live, but overall I'm really looking forward to the future of this game, and I believe the next large update should be the addition of the fire department. 